The formula editor can be a mighty tool. In this video, I show you possibilities on how to use it. Let's look at this program. It's made out of a blue background and one object. The object is a bird and we want this bird to fly around the screen. We can program the movement with a loop and glide bricks. With this method, our bird moves around, but the movement is always the same. From left to the right, from left to the right. Wouldn't it be way cooler if the bird always moves differently? Up the screen, down to the right. A random behavior would be perfect. This is possible to program in pocket code. Tap on the x value to get to the formula editor. Besides numbers, we can also insert whole computations. We also have seen that it is possible to insert sensor values. It's also possible to insert mathematical functions. If we tap on functions, we see what kind of functions we can use. There are many functions. One very important is the random function. Tap on this function to select it. The random function takes in two values. The first value is the minimum value and the second one is the maximum. Every time this function is executed, one value between the defined minimum and maximum will be generated. This generated value is completely random. For the first time it can be minus 250, then 200, then 100 and so on. Let's try to insert the random function also for the y value. As boundaries, we take the values minus 700 and 700. This means that random values between minus 700 and 700 will be generated. Let's test our program. As you can see, the bird moves random on the screen. Every time the brick is executed, a random value is generated because of the random function. Let's also make the velocity of the movement random. For this, tap on the value before seconds and in the formula editor select the random function. As boundaries, choose 0.5 and 3 seconds. When we start the program again, we see that the bird is moving at a different speed. The random function really helps us to create interesting behavior.